Hey guys, Indulger here, back with some more Fire Emblem Heroes. This is the end of Ether Raids Week 91. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Fire Emblem Heroes. All right, this is going to be a different type of video. It's only going to be defense results, so if you don't want to see that, tune out now. I'll save you the trouble. Uh, but uh, this week for me went pretty good. I got a tier 27. We're at 13,550. That's the end, and that should get me my gold share. All right, so... The reason I'm making this video is because I did take a week break and I wanted to highlight a new defense that I made. So if you're on my friends list, I would appreciate the feedback. Obviously, I couldn't solicit it. I wasn't going to spam you with like a YouTube <laughs> comment or something. But uh, if anybody that wants to check it out, let me know. Let me know your feedback. We're going to go through it here shortly. Did not perform well at the start of the week at all. I made absolutely no changes. Um, I, I wasn't going to give up on it because... It just did so well against my team. Uh, there's just very specific niche counters that you need to have to satisfy, uh, to beat this, rather. All right, so if you watched my summoning session, you'll notice I pulled four Hells. I ended up merging this one because it's a plus speed. I'm getting panicked by, who's panicking me? Why am I getting panicked? This is a Flyers, oh, okay, the, it's just the Flyers. I'm getting hit by that Flyers, cool. Uh, so we've got a Hell. And, you know, so I'm just playing around with this. I can obviously make some tweaks, but my thinking here with this hell with uh, Rez Solo was to try to get her to survive a hit if she has to be forced to come over here for some reason by herself. Um, I kind of like that. Obviously, that provides no benefit whatsoever here, but if you're going to hit and run me, I've kind of done what I wanted you to do, and I've honeypotted you and hopefully been able to uh, see how this action works. I, again, I'm trying to rally around this healing tower, I've, made, I've tried to make it as very difficult as possible. Now a flyer can get that, but we'll see if anybody tries. So I'm frontlining these two hells. Again, what makes hell so great is her inevitable death. These stack. In addition to that, I said, what else can augment uh, hell well? Well, <laughs> Kiri can do it. She also grants a attack down special through her weapon, and then she's just naturally a strong tank. She's getting an enormous amount of defense from hell herself, 15 HP, 15 defense, so I'm just sort of making this like a boss team. I'm trying to max out my two uh, offensive units. In this case, Kiri is both an offensive and defensive threat. And then Krom is uh, really beefy with that. He's getting even more with Sturdy Blow and then his low attack. Uh, I could take his A slot off to do even more shenanigans, but I like the flexibility that provides. I don't know. I'll play around with it, perhaps. Uh, Ninian's here. I just decided to go escape route because I don't really want her to leave. I want I want her to stay back. I don't want her to dance. This is kind of a stall team. Um, I don't really want her to get out of there. We'll see how that works. This is just my Ninian from my normal dark team. She's I just kept her infantry pulse. It helps them a bit. It's just one. Eh, again, I haven't really optimized it to perfection. This is running chill death because why not? And then uh, this one's running hardy bearing because you got to have a hardy bearing user. And then noontime, this is sort of like a budget mystic boost set so let's see who we've got we've got a plus one tibern and you'll see right here right now that the greatest weakness against a hell-based team is magicians i just don't normally see a lot of magicians and they all came out of the woodwork this week um so they just take a hit with tibern nobody can move at all and even with inevitable death in the 50% lockdown it doesn't really make any difference because hell just has miserable <laughs> just miserable uh, res however now you'd actually go first so you'd move here it's not what happens it's not hell move here and get dance let's see what goes on she went straight down okay she was directly targeting the peony that was a good job of AI manipulation I, I don't know if they meant to do that but if she comes here, I'm pretty sure Dino's not going to survive that. Because that is my... Are you going to double 47? Maybe not. Maybe she would have actually lived that. But again, ah, minus attack. That sucks. So if we get like an attack solo, that might be, that might be nice. <laughs> but, alright. So I like the pressure I put on folks back here. But uh, Hell's Shenanigans isn't working. And because they have Desperation, things just worked out so great for them here. And not, not only that, they've got Tactics Room in just the right place to shut down Kyria. And they do do make 
a very odd decision. This is day one, mind you, and they decide to just take me out and lose both ethers. I don't get that, but it hurt me. Let's continue. So I saw that. I was like, man, that can't. That's got to be a fluke, right? I'm not gonna see that every time, guys, right? No, we're not gonna see that every time, are we? Uh, so this is my first attempt at a vantage team with a Kranya. This is be fun. I wanted some data points. I obviously don't have this. If you watch the channel for a while, don't have a vantage team like this. Definitely not on light anyway. I do have a Altina based vantage team. But, uh, offensively, you know, just personally speaking, let me know how your week went, but, uh, mine was really easy again with the triple airs. It's kind of hard to lose five times with triple airs. I didn't lose at all. I did take a minus 40 because I just didn't care because after I've lost 100 points in the week, there was no way I was getting top 1,000 anyway, so I'm in that buffer zone where if I lose more than 100, then, yeah, well, kiss it goodbye. Uh, top 1,000, rather. So, okay, so Kranya's taking some hits. Hell's hanging in there. Um, they're not going to be able to prevent the healing tower, but they're going they're going all in, <laughs> which is fine. They've shut down the healing tower, but now um, Air's dead, and uh, you're dead, and I tried to make you dead. I, I mean, I stacked, again, we'll see how much defense that Krom had, but uh, not enough, apparently. Not enough. So that said, Kyria uh, should fall to the Peony, I think. And then they missed the Aether on the corner. So, could have been a real douche and put the Healing Tower there. I'm considering it. I, or not the Healing Tower, sorry. The Aether uh, in the upper left corner. But they managed to clear that. Two, I mean, really? Two foes defeated. I mean, I didn't count, but come on, guys. You're killing me. <laughs> guys, you're killing me. So, Dark, this this started to make me scared. I'm like, okay, this is the second loss. Right, we've got a Henry here. Really gross plus 10 Henry. This is uh, not something I see every day. And then we've also got an Ophelia with triple, well, double boost, and then a Dancer. So, this score's just fine. Uh, I went really hard into... Offensive wise, this week because again, when I take breaks, I normally just go all out and use all my ether to save myself some time. Did enjoy my break, by the way. I need to probably take more breaks, <laughs> maybe every month or so. There's only so much ether rage a man can handle before you start to go insane and burn yourself out. So, I did enjoy my rest. Okay, so they're testing some traps. They're going... They tested that. They didn't get rid of the healing tower, so I got all healed again. That's good. I mean, it's looking good for me, but I guess not, because Ophelia hits the back line, takes out my primary threat in Krom. I mean, he is very vulnerable there. So, yeah, AoE really hurts. And then a strong... Yeah, you have to have a strong way of piercing my back line and then a strong red to deal with the rest. So they took down both Kyria and... Uh, why did you not get the kill there? So you did get the speed solo, but you are got a freaking Fury 4 on you with the 4 that you're going to get. Oh, uh, you just one short? Why? Oh, because you got the 4 from your weapon. And then you also have Peen there. I had no chance at doubling there. So Ophelia is going to use her special spiral to just cause havoc. I, I can't tell if I just got unlucky with the matchups this week <laughs> or what. I don't normally see magicians like this. Maybe it's because my infantry pulse team normally makes it difficult to... Do you have close counter? No, you're just taking some hits. You're taking some hits and letting Ophelia mop up. So I think this is probably the best clear of the week because I think they do get all the ether now. Because this Ninian will hit like a wet noodle, won't do anything. It's final turn. Ah, okay. He would have died by the air anyway. So good job, Dark. Dark Spade. Very nice. Probably the best clear of the week. They're probably the only one that got all the ether. Unless Toxic did it. Yeah, another loss. <laughs> so it's like, I was not ready to roll. I'm not, re not ready to roll on this. It, trust me, it'll get better. Again, another strong mage. I am weak to Alphonse and Julia. 
I guess this kind of means I probably should make a mage based team. Guys, I haven't had to make a mage based team since like early tier 21 when like Surter was all over the place and you really needed to have a strong red. Ever since Alm exists, like nobody makes Surter based teams anymore. So I've never really found like I needed it. So that's why I tried to make this niche team that really punishes attack, like physical attack based things. But they're just going to take a hit. No, they're not. Okay, it's player phase. Never mind. Julia's going to go after hell. Again, it can't stop anything to that end. Relying on Wings of Mercy to move. And because the healing tower's in the way, I won't get a dance off. I have this little cross pattern. So, yeah, it's, that's not a bad run of it. And then they switch out and then use Alphonse to do the dirty work here. We wish you a happy new year. What does that do? Heal? I don't even know what that does. What do you do, Alphonse? What did that do? Cool down two and uh, okay. There you go. Are you just going to shut down everybody here? I think you're going to kill everyone. No, Kiri is being shut down by the... Tactics Room. And do they get the ether? Yes, they... Do get the... Did you double me? How did you double me? Man, she must have had really bad speed if she got doubled. Jeez. Alright, so that's the... I did... De defeated twice by Toxic and Dark. All right, all right, so this is when it turns around, finally, two days ago. I've had the whole week, like, just getting destroyed, and you, you gotta look at this team and decide, who is killing Krom? <laughs> physical, 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 physical. Peeny's not killing Krom. I mean, I don't even have to look at this. How would they kill Krom with this set? And this is what, like, bothered me. If I don't have a strong way of defeating Krom, I would fail to do this. And my Ike base team actually I think can beat this. I, I don't know if I saw any Ikes this week. So, I mean, people hit and run this all the time. They've been doing it all week. That's a pure hit and run. And that's kind of what I want you to do. So I heal up. And I just go slow. Just take it slow. Another tactics room hit me this time. And now I've just put a lot of pressure on them. They've, they've got to deal with three hells at once. And that's not a good play. <laughs> because, I mean, because Krom's there. And then you got a dead bird to the right with Kyria. Okay, what are you going to do? You, okay, you got rid of Kyria, but then you're vulnerable to Krom. This was just not going to work. I don't see how this was going to work at all. And there's another kill from Krom. Krom's the workhorse. Krom's the one that's going to be killing everything. I mean, one of the reasons, I, again, I invested in Krom because I've seen how gross he can be. In his light week, you're going to see a lot of peonies. You're going to see a lot of airs. You're going to see a lot of flyers. So I'm going to punish you for that if you bring that to the table. Um, wrap it up now again they have no crom answer i don't care what you do like you can't if you don't have an answer you're not going to be able to survive turn six all right let's wrap this up close counter that goodbye okay all right so it can work it can work does it keep working <laughs> again, i would appreciate the feedback I, I i just i've always wanted to make a team I like making triple mythic teams on defense, and this is the first one I think I've made that I'm really happy with. All right, we've got a peony. We've got another Ophelia. This is a special spiral Ophelia, and this is going to fail this time because there's no secondary follow-up. We've got a Sorn that's going to be able to take the Krom down, and we've got a Selkie as well. Very weird mishmash team. This is certainly interesting. Yeah, that's not how I play. I play every team I have basically has a primary offensive threat, like a Leaf, an Ike, a Red Ike, Kane, and then a secondary support, folks. This more looks more like three individual competent offensive units, which is fine. I just don't play like that. I just don't. 
So they can take down the airs with the Ophelia and get the special spiral to come back. That's cool. We saw that earlier. This time they're gonna hit and run. I think the other one was more aggressive. They took both. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, Ophelia took down the Krom and the Kyria. So they, they go to the left side. Well, first of all, that's not good because here comes a Hell. Thanks, Hell. Hell got a kill. And now that I've taken a unit down, it's really difficult to be able to beat the rest of them. Well, that's not good. Doesn't that open you up to Krom hitting you in a second? That just seems like a mistake. Yeah, that wasn't good. You should have done that. I think they had a chance to clear this. They just they were too aggressive. Soren should be able to take the Krom down. What ends up, what ends up happening here? Selfie's not going to be able to do much. I'm going to get healed this time. <laughs> you can't do anything to me. I'm not going to call her stupid because she's on my team. But, I mean, again, all physical. Curious just sitting here by herself. Dead air. And that will do it. Good job, Kyrie. Finally giving me a reason to not doubt you anymore. All right. Now it comes to this point. This was like nine hours ago. I'm, I'm in tier 27. This is like people, if they lose anything, they're just going to quit. We've got an air. Uh oh. I'll do that. We've got a Matthew with a spy's dagger. I don't really have familiar with Matthew too much. So he's got a... This is a close counter advantage set with Spice Dagger, inflicts on target, and uh, grants bonus attack tunnel penalties. Okay, so this is like a. It's like a Gunther, is it not? It's like a Gunther set. First Matthew I've seen, I think. Sorry, Matthew's pretty forgettable for me. I don't. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew fans. But again, you have to ask yourself what is taking down the. Krom. Okay, they're just banking on it being the actual trap. If it wasn't, I'm not sure how that would have worked. But, I mean, again... I mean, well done. This Matthew's taking some hits. Shouldn't be able to do that one, though. Yep. Just too much. It's too much, and I think that they're gonna call it. Because they do actually have some ladders left, and NG has failed. So that's a nice successful repel of a vantage base clear. If you don't get rid of the healing tower, it's gonna be really difficult. We've got a Lar. Oh, how do you say her name? Larce? She told me, and I forgot. <laughs> it's a Sophus, it's a Milla. It's a peen. I don't get that. Why are you? If your peeny is taking any hits from a uh, archer, you've done something wrong. I don't agree with that a slot, but that's okay. So a magician will or a dragon will be able to hit hit her awful res and take him down. So looking good. They got rid of two hells in in one turn. But however. <laughs> You still got more stuff to come at you. You can't tank everything. So, it should be Kyria up now, who's just got an enormous ball of stats uh, behind a dancer. You're not going to be able to touch me, and you're dead. So, that was a little too aggressive with the Sothis. That <laughs> shove was funny. They shove, and then, oh. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, too bad. <laughs> and then finally we've got Jepper here. Is that Epsilon? Is that, do I know my... Special symbols? Oh, we've got Milla. That's another red! Shannon's here with an air at plus one. And then a Gordon Fisherman to round it out. So yeah, this will do it. This will about wrap up for me. Let me know if you managed to have a health defense team. I'd love to test it. 
Um, I'd love to test new things. Uh, I think my mock battle queues are open, so if you're interested in being fought here on the channel, leave me your in-game name and your friend code. Or actually, no, don't leave your friend code. Find my friend code in the video description notes, and I will get you featured here on a video during my daily ether raids when I don't take breaks. So again, you gotta come back to it. Who is beating the Krom? I don't know. Mila's maybe the only one that can try? But I don't think that's gonna work. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention one thing. So they actually... Can we, uh, and we'll look at that in a second. They put Mila here and expecting to be able to do something with her, but they didn't realize that I have these. Like, they just, they're like, oh, yeah, it's Dancer, whatever. <laughs> um, she's really trying to stop you. Ah, oh, beautiful. That's what we want. That's what we want Krom to do. That cheap deposition skill. And then they can't do anything. Like, what are they going to do? Zero damage? No. And Zephyr found out too late that they can't hurt her crumb. Just one real quick. I want to show you how this person positioned. And if they're watching, please let me know if this is what happened in your mind. Because I did... I, I saw this and I was like... Oh, maybe this isn't it. Maybe it was, a, it was a different... Maybe it was a different Mila. Sorry. I think there was a different Mila I must have forgotten that just sat there. So it wasn't Zephyr. I don't think Zephyr did that. Or maybe I did. I'm just talking and I can't do two things at once. I think... <laughs> So, yeah, not bad. Again, so uh, that's a nice way to end it. A bunch of successes. Again, that's probably because people are just giving up uh, after a couple units lost higher tiers. And lower tiers, people did not do that. And this was minus two ether. And then these two actually had a good clear. So, they'll do it for me, guys. Um, I guess I can show top 50. I normally show top 50 on my friends list. So, congratulations. Ooh, I can get up there. Congratulations to the following. We've got Shining Luna and Fred Effect again at one and two. We're just gonna like have like some handicaps. They don't count. They always they always are up there. MB's up there too this week. Good job, MB. Sarango as well. Pretty static top ten on my side. At least top five. Congratulations, Titea. <laughs> After your cap line, you're gonna tell me what your name was. I don't remember who that was. There's oops again. I like Oops. Oops makes some fun theme teams. Mass, let me know how the things are going. I haven't played with you in a while either. I got 24 on my own list, which is a bit of a bummer. I mean, we're plus eight airs, low getting 24 on my own list? Come on. If you got anything on your mind, leave me a comment below if you want to see more. Wear a mask. I, I agree. Wear a mask. See, look, Martha's wearing a mask. See that? He's a little kid. He's got it. Wear a mask, guys. If you want to see anything uh, that I can accommodate, let me know. If you have any questions for me or anything else, just shoot me a comment below. Again, please consider subscribing for more. Till we meet again, everyone. Bye-bye.